Hello, I am Max from Test Drive Vlogs, and today, let's have a look at this 1983 Porsche 928S. Since I've already filmed a 944 as well as a 968, this will be the third 80s or 90s front engine Porsche out of four, with the 924 being the last one. This 928 features a gloss black exterior, two speakers in the door, and some vents, and your primary controls down below. Headlights on the left side. Turn signals on the right on the left side of the steering wheel. Simple set of gauges, your temperature, fuel gauge, speedometer, tachometer, oil pressure, and voltage. And windshield wipers, and cruise control on the right side. Along with your rear defrost, flashers, and your keyhole. A couple vents in the middle, with your climate control down below that, and your radio below that, with an analog clock at the very bottom. Ash train lighter, five-speed manual transmission, with a dog lead pattern, so you have first, second, third, fourth, and fifth, and reverse is all the way over and forward. Your windshield wiper, power windows, and power sunroof are back behind that. And then above that, you have a light and your power sunroof, as I mentioned before. And let's check out the outside. The Porsche 928 was first introduced for the 1978 model year and was the second ever production front engine Porsche after the 924, which only came out about two years earlier. The 928 was made to be kind of a grand tour car over the smaller 911, more towards luxury and whatnot. The exterior styling of the 928 is pretty quirky. You have the pop-up headlights in the front, which I think are probably the coolest part of the car, where instead of just being a normal hidden headlight, they are kind of like a Lamborghini Miura, where, where they're flat against the body, and then whenever you turn the headlights on, they pop up. And going along with styling, the 928S was first introduced for the 1980 model year, and featured a bigger engine, as well as a different chin spoiler and rear spoiler on the car. But in 1983, the 928S was the only option you had. You couldn't just get a normal 928. On these cars, the styling has always kind of reminded me of an early Mazda RX-7. Although much more round, as in just like the way the rear side windows look, and the way the front end kind of curves down. This 928 features 16-inch alloy wheels on 225 50R16 tires, with four-wheel disc brakes back behind. As I mentioned beforehand, the 928S came with a 4.7 liter V8 engine, instead of the 4.5 liter that came with a normal 928, which made around 234 horsepower. This one did come with a standard 5-speed manual transmission, and a 4-speed automatic was also available. So thank you all for watching this video of the 1983 Porsche 928S. Be sure to check out Moto Exactly's info in the description below, and I'm out of here, see ya.